YouTube, welcome back to the Deserts of Karak. What the crap's going on? I've got two fantastic players here, both playing random factions. That's going to be exciting. So Last Rites versus none other than A Game Anx on the Shallows. These are two great players. Last Rites runs a YouTube channel, and A Game Anx has won a lot of tournaments, so this should be interesting. We're going to be watching from the perspective of last rights at the moment. Let me uh, get used to the controls again. Let's switch this back over to production. So this is last rights playing as the um, coalition, and let's see what faction. It's going to be coalition versus coalition by random pick. No, sorry, this is actually from the. Yeah, this is um, a game Anx over here. I apologize. So. A game Anx is going to be playing as this coalition player, and then Last Rites is the other coalition player. So let's see how they face each other on the shallows. Um, just overall, your artifact captures out in the center as usual. The extraction zones here. So this is where Last Rites is going to attempt to extract a game here. Your three main salvage uh, points to start off with are right here and easily protected, so Salvager definitely online. a map where you can still see rushing, but it's not always rushy. Let's go up here close, watch the probe. This is uh, the probe of A-Game Anx. He's keeping some good um, eyes out here to make sure there's not any early game nonsense headed his way. Really like this map. Such a beautiful game. I wish someone could do like a Star Wars game in this same type of engine and stuff, it'd be a lot of fun. You could do a ton of fun games in here. But Homeworld is a classic. And uh, Deserts of Karak quickly made its way into my heart as one of my favorite games of all time. Just such a great story that goes along with the original bit of Homeworld. So let's see here, Last Rites moving up, trying to get greedy here and take out another um, uh, mining operation. It looks like both players opting early for a production cruiser. Just a little bit ahead on the production cruiser for Last Rites. No player yet has like a real clear advantage. AAV fabrication going down for, uh, for A game. Be advised, carrier repair systems online. And then over here we've got the uh, the carrier for last rights. No military for either player yet. Which is kind of interesting. Let's see if um, last rights gets. Now he did get a uh, LAV out to pressure the drone back. And look at the micro here from A game. Even though it's just a probe. He's keeping a close eye on his probe, and he doesn't get it killed. Light attack vehicle in service. Show you just how insane this guy's micro can be. He's got a light attack vehicle Research up as completed. well. Two from Last Rites, and what I'm hoping is going to be an set. epic Move showdown here. I have no idea who wins. I haven't. I haven't even looked ahead to see who won the tournament. The uh, tournament replays were sent to me spoiler free. Which was pretty awesome, and I've got a whole other tournament's worth of replays from the same guy who sent me this. Um, but I may try and catch up to the more recent tournaments as well. We'll see. Uh, there's going to be plenty of deserts to crack in the future. Some may wonder why I don't show it as often. It doesn't get a ton of views on my channel, but I know there's a dedicated audience to it on my channel, so I'm not going to forget about it. Armored vehicle is taking fire. Looks like we've got an armored assault up, and then in terms of the next, looks like strike fighter fabrication. And last rights, I don't know what his next fabrication move is. But he's picked up his second resourcing location. He's going to move to a third. He's got LAVs out, and he's pressuring the probe still. And he might get the probe over here if he can bottle it up. Nope. Looks like A game's going to keep the probe. Yeah, and, and A game now knows that he's up against rail guns. So you're going to see him immediately fall back with the armored assault. Let's see if he's gone for. Nope, no upgrades to the armored vehicles yet. No upgrades for any of the vehicles on the field that I've seen fo so far from either player. Both players now into three resourcing locations, but um, at this point, a little bit of a lead for Last Rides because he's got three railguns up. You can see he's being extremely cautious here, and he doesn't have a lot of scouting on A-game's main base, so he doesn't really know what to expect. So that's probably why Last Rides is being cautious. He's got an excellent position here with these units on top of the hill. 
So it's going to be a dominating here. position, and he's got good light attack vehicle support, so should be in a fantastic spot overall. Strike he's got good service. resourcing. Strike, Strike fighters are up. And here's going to be the surprise, whether or not this catches last rights by surprise. There are six strike fighters. If they punch through, they might be able to take out a support cruiser. Yeah, he's going to see the rail guns, but these strike fighters are going to be focused on the support cruiser, I think. Yep. One missile went errant, but the rest are going to hit the, um, the support cruiser. The LAVs are being moved over by last rights as a last ditch effort to stop these strike fighters from getting their quarry here. But it looks like they're going to do it. So just the right number of strike fighters for the snipe. A game angst knew exactly what it was doing. Going to take a huge hit to his economy early on. So what a play by A game angst, and then he did a little bit of damage to a railgun before his uh, fighters were forced to refuel. That's probably going to force uh, last rights into an anti-air tech, but we'll see. He still has quite a few railguns, and a couple of the strike fighters went down. This one bouncing off the hillside. Light attack vehicle online. Before finally coming to rest here. Support cruiser now operating. Pretty sweet. Neither player has made for an artifact capture at all. Neither one even has a base runner. I don't know if that's just the respect that these two players have for each other, where they don't even think about grabbing artifacts until they gain military dominance, or what. Huge ball of LAVs here, and then four rail guns. But with the strike fighters coming back out, these rail guns are in huge risk. The, uh, the light attack vehicles are the only defense against all these strike fighters. And last rights is looking to get a revenge strike here, I think. Those strike fighters now going to get through to the rail guns. Oh, rail guns are going down in a big hurry. So last rights is going to take a nasty, nasty engagement. He's got another support cruiser up, and he's even brought out an armored assault. Enemy rail gun eliminated. No further tech yet from. Um, well, I say there's no further tech. Yeah, no, no armor upgrades yet. But it looks like he's going for some LAV upgrades here. A game is. Let's check the uh, vehicles. Last rights. The armored assault still doesn't have any upgrades. Strike fighter, taking fire. Oh my goodness. Last rights just taking fire. a throttling from the strike fighters here early. So the strike fighter strategy paying dividends right now for A game Inks. Strike fighters can be so devastating if they go unanswered. They have very nice um, area of effect damage. First artifact goes in for A game. So he's now pulling artifacts and the pressure is on. Last Rites still has a pretty solid economy, so he very well could make a comeback, but one artifact up, he had to make up for it with a support cruiser, and he's most likely going to have to uh, kick out some anti-air tech, which it looks like he is. Right now, I think he's got a missile battery coming up, and it looks like that A-game is going to tech into railguns, and he's putting vehicle damage onto his light attack vehicles, so they've got an armor upgrade, and now they're going to have a damage upgrade. Strike systems online. Ready Very nice scouting still, confirmed. this probe up, able to see the uh, the units and here the uh, missile batteries are up. Strike fighters are going to try and pick off an armored assault. So if we go to the uh, units lost, right now last rights is getting throttled pretty hard by A game. And that's not meant as an insult, I'm just calling it like it is. Um, an A game can play a vicious game when he's on his A game. <laughs> right now he's doing quite well. And the missile batteries are pushing up. It, it should put an end to the strike fighters. Just unchecked dominance here. Doesn't mean they're done. You're going to see some uh, attempt to micro them here. And um, strike fighters being microed to the other flank. Trying to stay away from the missile ships. And it looks like they're going to stay away. First rail guns up. For A game. Look at this. Strike fighters are relentless. Going for some uh, LAVs. Nice way to push them back, too, and to keep gaining an advantage. Look how he continues to work these flanks. And uh, he's made Last Rite spend this money on air tech. And um, Last Rite still has to uh, respect the strike fighters just because of the way they can be microed. It looks like the carrier's been pushed up. Nice positioning for the missile ships. Look how this is going to hide them from railgun fire. So very crafty here by Last Rites. Very nice use of terrain. But look at this. The carrier's on the move. 
Doesn't have a lot of power, but A game is looking to put pressure on last rights. I wonder if we'll see a backstab here from the other side by last rights, because he's got a decent Copy. army, but ooh, there's now six railguns for A game. And only four for last rights. No upgrades on the railguns for last rights, and we've got damage and armor upgrades for A game, so. Look at this though, a backstab coming in from last rights. This could be really good. Cluster mortar gets a little bit of damage. The railgun engagement starts over here in earnest though, and the railguns of last rights are pushed back. You can see them retreating. And there's a sunder ability on the railguns of A game as well, so he has got some brutal railguns at this point. The LAVs are keeping the backstab away, and then uh, Last Rites is trying desperately to slow down the advance of A Game's railguns, who just picked off one of his missile batteries. Which means that the strike fighters in the bay could be launched as soon as the missile batteries are dealt with, and this one's got to be careful. Right now, it's got a little hill blocking for it. So the carrier of Last Rites being brought in to face down the carrier of A Game, which has taken a little bit of damage. LAV's trying to get through, but very well screened with armored assault vehicles. And at this point, it's it's a desperate attempt for uh, Last Rites to save himself. I think the Strike Fighters are going to try and come out. Yep, Strike Fighters are up. Support cruiser anti-air is in place. But most of the military for Last Rites is gone at this point. All he's got is these missile batteries, which can stop the Strike Fighters, but it can do nothing about the rail guns. And A Game's got a base runner pushing another artifact capture, so A Game putting the pressure on from every angle. Artifacts, carrier pressure, look at his army here. The rail guns just pushing up. Oh my goodness, there's a nuke coming in! Holy crap! I had no idea that Last Rites was anywhere near having a nuke, but it missed. It looks like it may have done a little damage, but it, it failed to get the entire army. What a play by Last Rites, who must have been heavily invested in power reserve. So his carrier must be, yeah, it's fairly scary right now. Quite a lot more powerful than A-Game's carrier. So if anything, his carrier can try and save him, but I mean, he is, ooh, the carrier of Last Rites is getting hammered by these rail guns. And another artifact capture by A game. So the carrier power um, difference here may start to come into check, but beautiful smoke here from A game to keep his unit safe as he retreats. More of a railgun duel happening now, and we have ourselves a game, folks. <laughs> the carrier of last rights is going to have to heal. It is healing, and it looks like A-game going to be pushed back temporarily. But he has a handy lead by artifacts now, too. Oh my goodness, look at this railgun battle. The railguns of A-game all have a high ground advantage, just absolutely destroying railgun after railgun from last rights. He finally gets a smoke out there. I'm assuming A-game's going to feeling uh, be feeling a lot better about pushing forward. I think the missile batteries are gone, and we're seeing the remaining strike fighters come up. There's still five of them. They may try and go for the support cruiser. Well, no, the support cruiser has anti-air, so that's probably not likely. Enemy contacts on the board. Carrier repair systems are unavailable. The resourcing of last rights is under pressure, whereas the resourcing of A game right now is perfect, and it's defended back here with these two railguns. See how he managed to take care of that? Strike fighters are pushed back by the support cruiser anti-air, and A game's gonna lose some. And right now, so much money being pumped into the military of last rights that he's going to struggle to keep up economically. He's only got one long haul resourcing at the second. So, I mean, eventually, if A game plays it right, he's going to overwhelm last rights. And he's got another artifact on the move. But there is a nuke inbound. Oh, and it gets the main resourcing location of A-Game. That's going to... Oh, my gosh. What a play. What a play getting that nuke out there like that. Because now the economy is actually probably slightly in favor of Last Rites. Now, of course, um, A-Game's been ahead for a while. That was that was quite a play. The railgun armor and damage still in favor of A-Game pretty significantly here, though. Ooh, these armored vehicles going to get flank shotted, maybe. Line of sight's not there for A-game, so they're safe. 
little bit of line of sight now. Gonna lose an armored uh, assault ship. Unless, yeah, you gotta smoke out just in the nick of time. Missile battery gets taken down by LAVs, which means the strike fighters won't have to worry near as much. And A game is pushing it in. It was a valiant effort to bring this back by last rights, but the... Oh, look at this, folks. Light attack craft get in, and they take out the uh, rail guns. And an immensely powerful carrier here from, uh, from last rights, but... It's just, um, it's gonna struggle to defend itself from just so many rail guns. So, definitely more power on the carry for Last Rites, and Last Rites has done some damage to the army of, uh, A-game, but I don't know if it's enough. And up here, the resourcing operation just getting throttled by light attack craft. And I don't think that Last Rites can dig his way out of this. He made such a valiant effort here. When he hit that nuke into the economy of A-game, I was pretty sure that, you know, he, this was going to maybe come back and start to be an even fight, but A-game just had such a dominant army by that time that it may just be too late, but what an effort by Last Rites. This has been a fantastic game. I don't see how Last Rites can pull this off. Oh, a nuke, a nuke! There's another one! Oh, if it would have hit the enemy carrier a little bit better, it might have equalized that a little bit. That was a nuke from uh, A game as well, though. So both dropping nukes on each other. Holy cow. What an exciting game. It's going to end in a ball of fire here as Last Rites loses his carrier. That was a crazy match. An awesome match. Hope you all enjoyed that one. Man, I did. That was fantastic. Thank you to both players for such an awesome game. I can't wait to go see what happens in Game 2. A game is up by one. If he wins the next one, then he is going to the finals to face off against Discara. Um, but uh, if he uh, does not win, then Last Rites is back in it, and it will go to a third game. Let's see what happens in game two. All right, I'm back, ready to take you into game two. This one is going to be watched from the perspective of Last Rites. Again, once they pick their factions, it's locked in, and both of them picked random, so this could be anything. And that's the exciting thing about this. I love that gutsy decision by both these players, and it makes the game so exciting. Um, really, really pumped here to see what happens. And Last Rites gets the Kanef, and I was kind of hoping he would. He plays a mean Kanef game. I'm excited to see this. Let's see what A-game has uh, wound up with. I'm going to review all. A game is Coalition. So twice in a row he's ended up with Coalition. So it's going to be a Kanef versus Coalition. Remember the Kanef carrier has smoke, um, where it can do smoke screens, and it also can train blast drones, which you see one coming out already, which are an explosive kamikaze type unit. The Kanef carrier has a cruise missile system um, that once it gets enough power it can be quite devastating. So, and their specialty is um, a siege cruiser design that's um, slightly different. So the Kanef have some uh, brutal siege cruisers. Let's take a look at the map um, here, and I, I forgot the name of the map as we came in. It's, um... Oh, I can't remember the name of the map. Yeah, whatever it is. <laughs> we'll see it on the way out, but it's a cool map. Lots of dunes. Um, you can see, let's take a look at the overhead again. Here's the artifact extraction point. So A game's gonna be shooting here for the red, and then we're gonna have, um... Uh, last Rite's going for the uh, extraction zone in the white. You can see the three artifacts across the center. If either player gets to five artifacts, they win the game. Or if they destroy the carrier of the opposing player, then it is game over. A game Manx is up one to nothing. And Last Rite's, this is his, well, this is his last right, his last chance. If he loses this, he is out of the tournament. If he wins it, he gets to go on to a potentially glorious game three. So much cover from terrain on this map. So the player's going to have to be very crafty with terrain. A base runner hang, uh, hung on to here by, by A-game Anx. That should be exciting to see if he tries to get some early artifact captures. He does have a light attack craft up early, a light attack vehicle. An early production cruiser for uh, last rights. He's probably hoping to get to um, uh, refinery mode, which he hasn't researched yet. He's going for assault ship fabrication, maybe to prepare against a potential AAV rush. We'll see. We have located a lot what happened of to those blast drones? 
I didn't catch what happened to the blast drones, but you've got a very good sensor net because there's two probes up right now for uh, a game. Or no, it's a probe and an LAV, so he's going to have extremely good sensor data. The two of those units um, get a very nice, um, very nice line of sight. Assault ship fabrication is done, and it looks like assault ships are being fabricated because we got. Yeah, we got two of them up on the production queue and a production or a support cruiser now up for a game on the uh, queue and it's about to come out so that's going to help a game get to his second um, resourcing location. It's like the base runner is pulling back. It may have had intel on what was pushing up against it. Two a uh, two assault ships up and two more on the way for last right. So last right's going to put together an early armored assault and we're going to have to see how A game is going to prepare. I'm expecting he may come back here and drop a turret on his researching or on his uh, resourcing. My bad. Let's see what he does. A turret can sometimes be a handy way to um, push back an early armored assault if it's placed well. Right there the uh, is that the base runner I think that brought down the uh, the drone? I think it was. Armored Assault up for A game as well. Now there's four of them, and it looks like the carrier and his own AAV is going to try and push back the assault ships and the production cruisers of the Kenef. But right now, um, rather undeterred is Last Rites. Yep, there's the turret as expected. A nice play by A game. So now the turret's going to be able to drop some damage. It's going to have to become the focal point of the assault ships. It has done immense damage to one of these assault ships here. And look at A-game blocking enemy units with his carrier. Very nicely done, very aggressive. That turret post continues to be a problem, but relentlessly, Last Right gets in here and starts killing salvagers, almost ignoring the turret post now destroyed. Last Rite still has four assault ships up, and he has got a heavy, heavy rush, and the damage is starting to mount. He's taken out almost all the resourcing for A-game. This early assault ship rush has A-game on his heels at the moment. Very nice early play here. The support cruiser is trying to keep the salvagers alive, and it's managing to do so. And it looks like at this point that... Um, Last Rites is going to fall back after a fairly successful disruption mission here. There's railguns up now, but a lot of damage done to the economy of a game, while the economy of uh, while the economy of uh, Last Rites stayed pretty stable. He's still long hauling from the second position, but he does have refinery mode now, and he's moving back one production cruiser to handle that, and the other one is actually moving towards a third resourcing location and cranking out some salvagers. Quite a few assault ships on the field, but there are also now railguns on the field for a game. But this map has such a line of sight that he should have a good opportunity to keep the assault ships safe, potentially. Yeah, the damage to this resourcing location is still apparent here. You can see the uh, smoking hulks of the uh, salvagers and other ships that died in that battle. Salvager online. That turret post was a very nice placement by A-Game, and you saw how it gave him precious time as a distraction. Very precious time. He even used the smoke to protect it for a while um, and keep it in the fight longer. So, very excellent play. And look at this. Now now you're going to see Last Rites moving up to a full three-base economy here, and he can uh, keep these light attack vehicles away. He's got the uh, assault ships, and he's got his assault ships fanned out a little bit where he can see... The, uh, the entirety of the battlefield a little better. Only two of them, but we've got a sand skimmer in the middle and then the two assault ships, so we're going to have solid scouting. And not a whole lot more uh, military build up here from A game at the uh, moment either. Interceptors um, available. Looks like three interceptors, and that is a tack bomber coming up for. Ooh, so. At this point now, the air tech coming online for last rites. If he gets those tack bombers up and takes out a support cruiser, I'm pretty sure this game is over, and I think that's what his game is going to be. Let's see if that's what indeed happens. But yeah, we got. Oh no, no, those were just interceptors. My bad. I thought it was a tack bomber. Never mind. It's just an interceptor. Just an interceptor. 
I apologize, it's not attack bomber. It just kind of looked different when I was looking at it. It is interceptors, but interceptors still going to be potentially very useful. I thought he was going for the, the throat here. Let's just uh, kind of keep an eye on what's going on. So, a couple of assault ships and a few LAVs for last rights, pushing back some... Uh, Sand Skimmer Scouts, yeah, keeping keeping a handle on the amount of scouting that A game gets is going to definitely give Last Rites a, a way to to try and gain an advantage. I mean, that's true of any opponent, right? If you keep your opponent from knowing what's coming their way, then chances are you're going to be able to surprise them and succeed, especially if you do a good job. All right, so here comes the Interceptors. The Interceptors may try and take out this production cruiser. There is no anti-air tech that I'm aware of, and there's not many LAVs. But the interceptors are now going to be known. And they're going to start hitting the... Um, yeah, they're going to get this production cruiser for sure. A little bit of anti-air fire coming up, but not enough. It's just from the base runner. Oh, the rail gun's getting hosed. The base runner's now a target. So the interceptors came in and did immense damage. So a nice follow-up to the early economic disruption. Base runners in trouble now, and A game is bleeding money on these lost units. So a missile battery up, and at this point the interceptors are gonna have to get off the battlefield. But look at that! If, since the missile battery's up, this means that A game had already researched the anti-air tech, and with the anti-air tech already researched. Um, this means that A game was uh, basically going to be uh, ready for the uh, the air threat, so that was pretty nicely done. That was pretty clutch timing too, because those interceptors could have harassed for many more minutes um, had he not done something about the air tech. Still got assault ships and LAVs. This game has been more in favor of last rights than the last one for sure, and he's looking to be fairly strong. He's got a full three base economy. Um, running with his production cruisers, and I think he pulled one production. No, he's he's got four production cruisers, I believe. No, no, it's a base runner. My bad. So he's still got the three production cruisers back doing his resourcing, and he's moving his Kenef carrier forward, wanting to take control of the battlefield. There are some railgun or a railgun in the back. But the, uh, the economy of A-game has been hurt pretty bad throughout this game. He is doing his best. There's another support cruiser up. So A-game now actually getting some pretty good resourcing going on. But again, I still think he's going to be behind as an overall. And if his interceptors can find... Uh, if uh, Last Rite's interceptors can find a lane, which this won't be it. Ooh, Last Rite's could get shot down here. He pulls it off. But over here, a pretty big push into the economy once again. Armored Assault being pushed back, but the Railgun's answering from A-game, but he's looking to potentially get overwhelmed here. A very nice turret post placement, though, from A-game, and he's going to repair the turret post. There's smoke right now blocking some of it. A nice cluster mortar there, and it looks like A-game's trying to turn the tide of this fight and push Last Rites out. It is a desperate fight for A-game. It's a fight for survival. At the moment, he's winning it. Look at that. He was overwhelmed at first, but he pushed Last Rites right back out. And the missile batteries are keeping their interceptors at bay. The Kenef cruise missile system is active, and um, Last Rites, although he doesn't have a lot of power, is going to push his carrier in to really try and keep heavy, heavy pressure on the economy of um, A game. Lost an interceptor there. But a siege cruiser up. So the Kanefi specialty, I missed this on the queue. There is another interceptor up, and uh, there's plenty of sand skimmers coming up. And the siege cruiser is going to be able to shut down this, um, this resourcing operation, I think, once and for all. So a nice barrage from the Kanefi siege cruiser. Let's get a close up on this thing. A beautiful, beautiful ship. So Last Rites is uh, definitely pouring on the Kanefi spirit right now. Siege cruisers, missiles. And yeah, A-game at this point, his economy is being badly hurt. 
There's some nicely placed turret posts, though, that are slowing the advance of Last Rites every time he comes in. A game just not making this easy for Last Rites at all. Sand Skimmer raiding, so maybe hoping to do more uh, Sand Skimmer work. There's still a missile battery back here, so this, the interceptors are going to have to keep a distance. It looks like they're coming back here to shut down an AAV push into the resourcing, so A-game trying to get the pressure off of his own resourcing and back onto last rights, but it's not working. The Knef Siege Cruiser here pushing back A-game's units. A-game brings his carrier up, which is taking hits from the cruise missiles, and then now the Siege Cruiser laying down a barrage. And Last Rites is up two artifacts at this point, too. And those artifacts are feeding power into the Kenefi missile system. So you can see missiles and siege cruiser barrages just coming in one after another. Look at this beautiful, beautiful battlefield. Look at all the dust and sand being kicked up from the fighting. The battle scars and the coalition carrier here. Oh, that's looking good. It's looking so good. Look at this ball of sand skimmers coming in to do a raid. There are several railguns, and there are some AAVs for cover, but let's see what happens here. The sand skimmer is going to pull back, seeing a pretty nice defense here. I don't know if there's a turret post back here, logistics modules. Yeah, there's a turret post way back here on this one. It looks like A-Game trying to get his economy kick-started again. A-Game has been hit very hard in this game repeatedly, but he hasn't dropped out of the game. So the Siege Cruiser pushing back the enemy carriers. Nicely placed Kinef cruise missiles. As long as the Siege Cruiser keeps out of range of railguns, it is going to be a huge threat. Nice barrage here from the Kinef Siege Cruiser. Doing damage to the enemy carrier. Very well done. A game angst trying to push out more rail guns. And A game still holding his own here. Uh, not a very big military from last rights, but he has siege two siege cruisers now, and he's still got his interceptors, but there are still missile batteries on the field as well. Looks like trying to find an opening here on the railgun, and at best they're going to trade for it. Yep, he lost an interceptor. Four cruise missiles coming in from the Kenneth player, but a, pretty much a miss there. So let's just see what happens, but so far it has been a very, very interesting battle here. All right, four more. Yeah, at this point, so much cruise missile energy for the Kenef player. Siege cruisers laying down a barrage, but they're they're taking damage from these railguns back here. The siege cruiser might get killed. It's not falling back. Oh, it's going to be so close. The railguns want it bad, and they get it. So A game takes down a siege cruiser. That is a clutch kill, but three artifacts now. So even though he can't kill A game's carrier, you're seeing a relentless push by last rights to get ahead in artifacts, and he's got full power to the missile systems, and he is going to be big time trouble for A game to deal with. And he's already got power reserve four as well. And he's going for precision bomber. Interesting, because there are definitely um, missile batteries. Now, Precision Bomber will take a few hits from a missile battery and survive. It looks like um, A-Game trying to push back with this carrier here. And he's going to hit it with the support cruiser and then the rail guns. And he starts doing immediate damage to the Kenef uh, carrier. But the Kenef carrier just unloading barrage after barrage of cruise missiles, which are its specialty. And at this point, uh, Last Rites just unloading everything into the carrier, and this is probably why he wanted the TAC Bomber. He might try and come in here and finish it off with the TAC Bomber. What a fight. Oh, I kept thinking he's training a TAC Bomber. I keep getting confused. These, these always look like the Bomber to me, but he's researching Precision Bomber. My bad. And I keep calling it a TAC Bomber. Precision Bomber. I apologize. This has been a crazy, crazy fight. A-game desperately trying to shut down the artifact capture. 
And Last Ride's doing everything he can to keep A-Game's army busy. And A-Game's carrier, though, is in huge distress back here. And the Kinef carrier is moving in for the kill like a shark that smells blood in the water. Here comes the siege cruiser launching its barrages. The Kinef carrier is likely going to unleash a cruise missile soon. Right now it's hitting the artifacts, or the uh, resourcing. And A-Game's cruiser, though, in the back being healed. But it is pretty weak at this point. And at this point, um, Last Rites is pushing in to the artifact or the uh, resourcing. Horrendous damage done over there to the military units. There are two siege cruisers still. The carrier of A game is safe at the moment, and it's being healed by two support cruisers. And the uh, the game is getting kind of desperate at this point for him. He does still have a sizable military, but the power level on the cruiser for the Kinef is serious. You can see here the railguns pushing the siege cruiser. This could be a big pickup for A game. Here comes the cruise missiles. Oh my gosh, beautiful cruise missiles. They took out one railgun, but the siege cruiser may still fall. It's trying to get behind cover. And there's fire coming on to the uh, Kinef carrier. More cruise missiles up. And a barrage coming in from the uh, artillery cruiser, or the uh, siege cruisers. Look at the barrage that the Kinef can lay down. Just look at it. When these guys get their missile systems up and their siege cruisers, I mean, the whole battlefield just turns into a steel rain. It is crazy. What a game. Beautiful cruise missile hits here. And A game is in trouble. His carrier, like I said, it continued to try and heal. But I do believe that Last Rites probably has him on the ropes here. I don't know, man. A game just does not give up. At some point, Last Rites is going to just have such a, an economy advantage that I think that's what's going to just give it to him. But A-Game just fighting like a dragon here, not giving up. His units just continue to push and fight. The two siege cruisers are fighting uh, desperately to stay in combat. They're doing pretty good. And with the support of the Kinef carrier here, A-Game's army is being decimated. Without as many railguns immediately available to the siege cruiser, those getting weak. There's actually three siege cruisers. One of them goes down. Look at this, though. The Kinef carrier pushing a game. Oh, a nuke, a nuke, a nuke. It's coming right towards the Kinef carrier. Or no, it's the siege cruiser. Oh, and it got one. So all of a sudden, only one siege cruiser left and not much other military for the Kinef Carrier. The Kinef Carrier in and of itself, though, is pretty powerful. But if it gets surrounded by railguns or something, it can be bad. And there are railguns. And they are firing at the Kinef Carrier. So now the Kinef Carrier is starting to take damage in a big hurry. Can A-Game turn this around? He has definitely got enough railguns to potentially do it here. Holy crap, if A-Game turns this around, it's going to blow my mind. Another siege cruiser up now. Oh my goodness, this is such a crazy fight. I don't even know what to think. This has just been an un unreal, just barrage after barrage. There's two siege cruisers, actually. They are desperately trying to kill the railguns. The second one just went down. Lots of damage to the Kinef carrier. It's uh, healing itself slowly. And the carrier of... Um, a game fairly well healed at this point. He's putting all his uh, points into range systems. But I mean, A game's economy is in such shambles that every unit he loses has to be putting a huge hurt on him. Whereas Last Rites now is producing more sand skimmers, more siege cruisers. A capture for A game. He's trying to fight back. I mean, the the Kinef carrier though is at 44 percent, but there's fewer and fewer um, enemy units to pressure it. And A-Game has got to be very hurt for money. He is training. Oh my goodness, this is going to be close, people. Looks like A-Game making a push with his carrier, but then the Siege Cruiser and the Kinef Carrier pushing him back. He wants his support cruiser to help out. 
And look at this, Last Rite sending over a production cruiser and salvagers to start cleaning up some of what was originally A-Game's resources. Here comes another nuke. It's targeted right on the Knef Carrier, and the Knef Carrier is weak, and the production cruiser came through at the same time. 31% almost killed the production cruiser. That was crazy. But the um, carrier of A-Game extremely weak now, too. This support cruiser, if it goes down, could be trouble. There are lots of support cruisers back here to keep A-Game's carrier alive. Look at this. A-Game bringing the artifact score back closer now. It's only 3-2. to two. This has got to be the wildest game of Desert's Crack I have ever seen. The, the fighting is just so intense. It's like no matter what each player does, oh, A-game loses it. He finally loses his carrier there in a last missile barrage from last rights. Dude, you've got to be on the edge of your chair by now with that one. That was incredible. That was incredible. That, what a game. What a game. Congratulations to both players. That was just like, I kept thinking the whole time, I was like, Last Rites has such an advantage here, but A-Game just fights and fights and fights, and then Last Rites just keeps pouring it on and keeps applying the pressure. I love the aggression there from Last Rites. Just would not let off of A-Game, and had he? I mean, look how close A-Game came to bringing that back there at the end. And if, I mean, if he would have given him an inch, I, I don't think A-Game would have brought it back. That was crazy. What a battle. Incredible. Can't wait for Game 3. All right, folks, the final matchup between A-Game Anx and Last Rites in the semifinals of Artifact Cup 18. We have seen two absolutely brilliant games. Game two just being absolutely unreal. Like, the amount of barrages and fighting and back and forth was just incredible. So again, both players are random. The first game was Coalition on Coalition. Second game was Last Rites' Knef versus A-Game's Coalition. And A-Game took game one. Last Rites took game two. This is the deciding game on what is definitely a fun map with tight end passage. Let's see which factions both players get. We are going to be A game for the third time straight getting the coalition. So apparently fate would have him be the coalition. And Last Rites with the Knef once again. So Last Rites is the Knef. And let's see whether his Kinef forces can propel him into the finals of Artifact Cup 18 over the Juggernaut A-Game Anks. Definitely, probably seen as one of the best players, if not the best player in this community, unless something's changed since I was watching a bunch of stuff. He is a fantastic player. Let's take a look at the overall tight end passage map. You can see your three artifacts here in the center. The extraction point for A game is over here on the far left. And we've got the uh, one on the right. The Knef base runners pushing forward with blast drones. I'm assuming that the probe from A game will probably see the blast drones. It's moving in that direction. It hasn't caught it just yet. He's just outside of the sensor radius. But you see how he just sweeps around with this probe? This is so smart because you can get so jacked up by blast drones. Look at that. He spots it. Look at the scouting here for A-game. This, this guy is unbelievable. So the blast drone attack is known now to A-game, and he can prepare a defense. He's got an Allied Attack Vehicle online, which is exactly the type of thing he needs. So the reaction of A-game spot on. And let's Light see what Last Rites is up to. He's pushing a production cruiser way over here. Kind of curious to see what he's up to. Producing sand skimmers, I think. Yeah, sand skimmers? There's several blast drones up now trying to make their way light over to... Yeah, he took out one light attack vehicle. That's a one-for-one one trade, though, in terms of resources. Yeah, and see, that was not a great trade there. So Last Rites actually not getting the better of that trade. But the base runner at least trying to get up here. I, obviously what he's going for is that if he can distract the economy of A-game Anks enough, that he might be able to win the game again, similar to what he did the last time. Last drone still coming up for last rights, and he is really bringing the pressure. Takes down another light attack vehicle. Base runner up here being extremely annoying, while in the background his production cruiser pushing up with four sand skimmers looking to backstab as well. There is a support cruiser up now for A game though. I don't see this ending well for Last Rites. He's trading Blast Drones for LAVs, which is again it's equal in terms of 
light attack vehicle resources online. weapon range system and i don't know online. if this little push weapon here has been spotted online. by a game makes we'll see the production or the uh, base completed. base runners taking a beating i guess it is kind of a mini production cruiser for the Kinef. Oh yeah, his blast drone got stopped before it exploded, but here's the, the sand skimmers. And they are going after, yeah, they're going after LAVs. But the carrier for, the carrier for A-game can help protect against this, but the production cruiser is continuing to churn out sand skimmers. Last Rites is definitely putting some pressure on, but it, it's, it's going to be a matter of whether or not it's worth it. Last Rites has lost more units for a Red higher Lord, CE cost. Yeah, this is definitely going in favor of A-game. He got the turret down. He's got the support cruiser. At this point, um, Last Rites is going to have to just try and pull out. I guess he's just going to leave his base runner here, or he's forgotten about it because it's getting hammered. The turret's going to take down the, uh, the base runner, and Last Rites is going to fall back. He did some damage to the economy, but it didn't slow it for long, and now he's going to be on his heels as A-game pushes him across the map, his light attack vehicles digging into the production cruiser, and it's actually a pretty threatening situation. Losing the production cruiser would probably mean that he loses the game. So Last Rite's desperately trying to crank out sand skimmers, but they're just coming out one by one. Light attack vehicle is under fire. You can see uh, the light attack vehicle here being brought back to be healed by A-game. Sand skimmers just all they can do is slow the death of the uh, production cruiser at this point. There's an AAV pushing as well, and a base runner picking up to grab the. Uh, oh, look at that! Dropped a turret too, putting down extra damage on the production cruiser. What a play! Man, a game just is relentless. And the loss of this production cruiser, I do believe, will probably be the end of the game. Yep, last rites calls it. He knew it. Wow, after such a fight in the second battle, and then that initial great push there by Last Rites. I mean, that was a gutsy push, because it was all or nothing. He was going to get in, and he was going to either beat A-game then and there, early in the game, or he was going to lose, and unfortunately for him, he lost. But what a stand by Last Rites. A-game going to move on to the final, so it should be A-game versus Descara. Super excited for those matches. Both really good players. I will be bringing that to you soon. What do you think, folks? Are you not entertained? This was great. This game, it's like it's made for YouTube and casting. It has some fantastic matches. I love the community for this game. So thank you, Last Rites. Thank you, A Game Ax, for the awesome games. And thanks to those who are hosting these tournaments. There's more tournaments. And if you want to go uh, check it out, um, I'll try and get some links in the description to the Homeworld Discord um, so that you guys can go get involved in this community if you want to go play this game. And the game is fantastic. It's worth every penny. The campaign's great. And if you go get involved in this Discord, there's plenty of people who like to play matches. And they're very friendly to newcomers who are trying to learn. So it's definitely something you should go check out. Really appreciate you all. If you enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe. I'll be back with more. Air of Carthage signing out for now. I will see you all soon.